Hey, no, 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 let's not jump. Let's see what the There we go. I made myself a smoothie with, um, what did I put in there? Almond milk, strawberries, mangoes, a bunch of spinach, turmeric, protein powder, and then this time I put in a little tiny hunk of ginger. So, but I can still smell the ginger, so. But hopefully this time it doesn't make me uh, fall asleep. And then I got some coffee. And I'm gonna do some Bible reading. Um, I've been reading Ephesians, so I think I'm gonna pick up there. So I read <clears throat> Ephesians chapter 5 and several things stuck out to me so I actually had to open up my computer and look up a few of the phrases to get some more clarity on them about like what they really were meaning. Um, so in verse 4, like it, starts, it talks about like these are the people that will not inherit the kingdom of God. Um, verse 4 says, Nor should there be obscenity, foolish talk, or coarse joking, which are out of place, but rather thanksgiving. And I was like, yeah, yeah, I mean, I agree. But then I was like, well, what is, like, foolish talk or coarse joking? Like, I kind of had an idea of what that meant, but I looked it up just to be sure. And foolish talk is just, like, stuff like absurd things just being dumb and then coarse talk is like um more like crude talk crude joking you just you know making talking in a way that is just very offensive and i don't do that but i know a lot of people do do that and they're just like this is the way that i am but especially if you're a christian you should really check yourself because <clears throat> talking in such a way you might be fine with it but you might not realize how that could affect the other people hearing that and you know especially they'll see like oh they say they're a christian but they're saying like these horrible nasty sexual things or you know just really hateful things I don't want to be a Christian or I don't know it's just and that kind of stuff is wearing on your own soul too so I would say I don't really I don't horse joke so much mine's more lighthearted but sometimes I do I do say just kind of dumb stuff so calling myself out and then moving on to verse 6 in Ephesians 5 it says let no one deceive you with empty words for because of such things God's wrath comes on those who are disobedient therefore do not be partners with them and I was like what does empty words mean so I looked that up and <clears throat> on this website I think it's from the homily on Ephesians it says there are always people among us who want to diminish the force of words. Empty words are words that are for a moment attractive, but in no way are proved by deeds. So empty words would be, <clears throat> I think like people kind of sugarcoating stuff or making stuff sound nice or like making empty promises like, so they sound like a nice person, but then their actions do not follow the words that they say. Like when they're not around you, they change and um, you know, they're not genuine. And 
yeah I try not I try to be pretty genuine like I don't want to be all fake around people and just try to just be myself because I figure that's the best way so sometimes I don't come off the greatest like I seem a little bit cold but something I'm working on but I'd rather I don't want to just like you know be fake and fake flatter people so I think it's something I need to work on in, in my heart of actually actually being genuine and like and feeling like that you know but I, I'd rather work have that as something I work on than pretend you know and then say nice things but then behind their back say the opposite um, yeah so just be real people and if you are I mean you don't have to say mean things either just don't say anything at all um, and then moving on to verse 11 have nothing to do with the fruitless deeds of darkness but rather expose them I didn't look up that one but I underlined the expose part that's pretty powerful like don't have anything to do with evil, but rather expose it and say, like, hey, this is wrong. You shouldn't be doing this. Um, and then verse 13 says, but everything exposed by the light becomes visible and everything that is illuminated becomes a light. So pretty encouraging because, um, you know, there's a lot of darkness in the world. But if more and more people just expose the truth, then it'll all be out there for everyone to see and we'll all know and, you know, be illuminated. So, that's what I read in Ephesians. Thank you for listening. So I um, exchanged some coins, it was like $20, so I put that towards like a little savings challenge thing that I've been doing. Uh, my idea was save money from $1 to $100, like $1 bill, $2, $3, you know, and so on. Uh, that's going to take a long time, but that's just what I've been doing with any extra money that I have. Not any extra money, but, you know, some extra money that I have or I've been saving coins. <sighs> but yeah, that'll be nice whenever that is complete, which I feel like will take a long time.
So I am replacing this because it's broken. Thing I have to fix is this because this broke off of there somehow. I don't know. So I have a replacement one. So I'm gonna fix that. So I have it connected now. It was not hard to do at all. Now I have to this chain on the other one, right? <laughs> doing the second assignment in my calculus 2 course and holy smokes <sighs> this stuff is really difficult I'm mm, like I'm kind of getting it and kind of not oh it's really really difficult to do I'm yeah Like, I hardly even really, I don't even know what I'm doing. It's, I, I, I accidentally wiped off some of this, but, oh my goodness, this is painful for my brain.